Oh, yeah, that's right. It's Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Garden of Garage here in beautiful Alabama on this beautiful rainy morning. How you all doing, you filthy animals? Good to see you all. That's right. All right. Now, we've got a couple consoles here that we're going to uh, debut, as I should say. They're all up on the line servers. Of course, they all have, uh, you know, BL1, BO2, MW2, MW3, Ghost, Advanced Warfare, so on and so forth. Cheats and off hosts uh, with uh, with Infinity Ops and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. I right, also supporting the uh, matchmaking um, X community uh, thing that we have on our server. And then, of course, it's got a one year part and labor warranty on it. And uh, pretty much we're all good to go. This one is a 250 gig, okay? Uh, Mr. David Anderson. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. Anyway, uh, David went ahead. He purchased this console off the website from us. And, uh, well, tell you what. We're going to fire it up. Make sure everything is right and tight. And then we're going to ship it out this morning. Okay? Um, also, with the video, I'm going to be sending you a link to the startup setup video. Please watch that video before you power the console on and follow the instructions to get it up on your network for the first time. Once you do it once, you won't have to do it again. It's all cool, all right? Also, that video includes a lot of stuff about Dash Launch and how to do this and that and the other things. So please, please watch that video. It's very, very important that you do. All right, now, there's our college football uh, revamped updater, okay? You don't need it, okay, right now because they're not updating. They won't update till the fall, so you hit, I'm already up to date. When they start doing the updates, that's when that is going to come in handy, okay? Now, we're going to go through this thing. All right, Xbox 360, start off at the dashboard. You got your Battlefields on there. You got your Call of Duties on there. You got your Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty World at War. And then, of course, you got College Hoops 2K8, Gears of War Series, Grand Theft Auto uh, 5 and 4, uh, Halo 3, Minecraft, NCAA Football 14, Red Dead Redemption, of course, Resident Evil, so on and so forth. And we have Xbox Live Arcade. All right, that should keep you busy for a while. A lot of titles on there. Of course, you got your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then, of course, you got a classic game on there. you got Tony Hawk's Underground 2. That's for the original Xbox, all right? And you can play it up and back out in, 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 um, in uh, bypass mode. And then, of course, you have your indie games right here. you got Trailer Park King. you got Voice Changer. And then emulators, all right? you got Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, Super Nintendo, back to Nintendo. All right, you got over 8,000 ROMs on there. Uh, so your side-scrollers, old arcade systems, stuff like that. It's all in there, all right? Now, we're going to go ahead. We're going to hit the dashboard. We're going to make sure that it's running. In which it is okay we're good bypass the sign in as you can see it is up it is online and it is live all right pressing the guide button you will see your hud all right in here is x community beta for super matchmaking capabilities okay which actually works very very well you hit that right okay you'll see that there are going to be games and there are public sessions being played as you can see all kind of war cry i mean call of duty world at war i mean you know so on and so forth Players, all the players with their with the insignia of their servers that are online. One day, there I am right there. Okay, cool. So on and so forth. You know, I mean, Cypher, uh, XP Online, so um, much go Infinity, so on and so forth. Now, okay, and in your settings, you see you you can enable the features, custom matchmaking. Of course, everything has a description on it. Okay, change your online status, change username, save settings, so on and so forth. All right, getting back to back out of there. All right, that's X Community. Now, over in your fifth tab, you have your cheats. You got your Advanced Warfare, Ghost, BO2, and MW3. Okay, to disable, hit A. To enable, hit A. It's very easy. All right, and those cheats will pop up when you hold in the left trigger, push down on the left D-pad. All right, now, we're going to bring this back home. Now, uh, GTA 4 has Buffington Mod Loader. Okay, GTA 5 has Purge. All right, now, GTA 4, all right, to open the menu up, all you got to do is hold in on the, left bu on the LB button push in on the, left, on the left thumbstick, that'll open up the map mod loader, and you can load a ton of menus that that thing has on there, alright, so, you know, pretty much good to go, purge the pad left and X, that'll open it up, X select, beat it back out, pretty simple, alright, so anyway, David, listen, thank you for your business, man, thank you for your patience, I greatly do appreciate it, we're going to be shipping it off today, you will have a tracking number in your email, along with this video, and a link to the startup setup video that you need to watch, make sure you watch that, okay, and uh, pretty much you're all good to go. Again, thank you for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it, all right? So, we're going to say goodbye to David now. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to flip the script. 
And what we're going to do is we have this little beauty right here, which happens to be a la Star Wars console, okay? This one here is from Michael Bagley. This one is a two terabyte ton of fun right here. We did the ROL like you want. You wanted seven color changing fading center. You wanted white, blue, white, and blue for the ROL, in which that's what I did. All right, now, here's that little puppy right there. She is in perfect condition, not a scratch on her, okay? Really clean. I, I was very fortunate to find a few of these in the conditions that they're, that they're in because they're getting harder and harder to come by, guys, okay? You know, I mean, and pretty soon, you know, I mean, people are, are really wanting a lot of money for these crazy things, you know? And, I mean, I have an add-on fee for this because it costs me more money to find with it, to find these damn things and everything else and pay for them, uh, you know, in the condition that they are. Because I'm not going to provide you with junk. I'm not going to give you a fake Star Wars console. I'm not going to do any of that crap. This thing makes all the noises. It's a, it's a numbers-matching console, and that's the way that I sell them. Because when I say it's a Star Wars console, it is a Star Wars console. Right down to you can take, take the top off of this thing, and you will see a Star Wars motherboard in there. Okay, so, you know, and you can tell the difference. Believe me, you can, all right? So, anyway, here we are. We're good to go. Michael, you ordered this thing. Here it is. It's two terabytes, all right? And I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to fire this bitch up. And yes, like I said, it makes the freaking funny sounds, too. All right, now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sync this controller up here. All right, there we go. And now what we're going to do is, is we're going to go and we're going to get notifications from the server, letting us know it's online, live, and all that other happy nonsense. All of these have a one-year part in labor warranty. Okay, so if God forbid something happens that's due to my fault, okay, or due to the console, is something fails on me, guess what? I'm fixing it. So, needless to say, that's the way it works, all right? So anyway, there you are, all right? And of course, we got our CFBR updater, which you can ignore right now. Don't have to worry about that, okay? And then again, there we are. We're good, okay? Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go through this thing, Okay? First things first, we're going to go to the Xbox 360. Now, mind you, it takes it a second for it to load it the first time because there's a lot of titles on here, and I mean a ton of titles, okay? Uh, there you go. All right, we'll start up at the dashboard. Okay, you got, yeah, Ultimate Ninja Storm, yes, okay? All right, so uh, Call of Duty, Afro, Afro Samurai, Alice, a a Alien, I mean, there's a ton. Bioshock, Borderlands, Call of Duty's at the yin-yang, Call of War Res, Castlevania, okay, Black Ops 3, World at War, Cloud Troops 2K, Crisis 2, Inferno, Dead Island, Dead Rising, Defiance, Dragon Age, Dragon Ball, Raging Blast, where you could play with your Dragon Balls, okay? Uh, Dead to Rides, MMA, Earth Defense Force, Family Guy, all kinds of good stuff on here. Gears of War series, Guitar Hero series, uh, you got Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City, Ghost Recon, Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto 5, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Guitar Hero 3, okay, Halo series, okay, you got your Halo 3, Halo 4, uh, Halo 5, Halo Reach, Halo this, Halo that, Halo, okay, Hitman, Kane and Lynch, and Lego stuff out the yin-yang, including a hot little number with a set of breasts and a chainsaw, works real good, okay, Lost Planet, Mafia, Mass Effect Trilogy, Medal of Honor, uh, MW2, MW3, uh, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat DC Universe, okay, NBA 2K10 through... 17, NBA Jam, NCAA football, four, uh, football 10, Football 12, 13, 14, of course with college football revamped on it, NHL 12, Ninja Blade, Painkiller, PGR 4, Pop Cap Collection, Red Dead Redemption, Resident Evil at the Yin Yang, okay, Saints Row, Saw, Saw 2, Saw 3, Sega Superstars, you know, the Silent Hill, Skate, Skyrim, all kinds of wrestling, Sonic, Spider-Man at the Yin Yang as well, Splatterhouse, all kinds of good stuff on here, man. All kinds of classic titles that are really good and really hard to come by these days. All right, and like I said, man, Ultra Street Fighter, you got you got a ton on here. And then wrestling out the yin yang as well. And pretty much we're back to the dashboard. And there you have it. All right, now Xbox Live Arcade, you got a ton of Live Arcade on here. Uh, as you can see, we started with Bogeyman, and we aren't even. It's still going and going and going and going and going. It's still going. <laughs> it's still going. And they're not duplicates, by the way. There's no duplicates on here. All right. So it's still going. And we're still going. And we're really going. And there we are. Okay. So you got a ton of Xbox Live Arcade on there. Homebrew section where your tools reside. Indie games. Okay. Yes. You got, you got, fuck them in the trailer park. Pay child support twice. And then fuck them again. Okay. Leavage. Memories. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Anyway. 
Classic games. Okay, you got a ton of Xbox original classic games on here from Brute Force. Always, you know, some of them have artwork, some of them don't. You got all the way back to Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. You know, I mean, you got your Halo on there, Juice, Knockout Kings, Madden, Madden 5 through 8, okay, Midnight Club 3, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat Deception, NBA 2K3, okay, Phenom, you know, I mean, so on and so forth. There is a ton on here. A, I mean, a literally a ton. So there you have that. And then emulators, okay? Now, you got Game Boy Advance, you got Sega, you got Memories. I mean, main, 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 sorry. PlayStation, Super Nintendo, and back to Nintendo, all right? So there is a ton of emulators on there as well. Now, we'll go ahead. We'll get to the dashboard. We'll make sure that she's uh, right and tight, in which it is. It better be. I'll kill it if it's not. All right, and there you are. You're up, you're online, and again, Open up the guide button. You have your X community beta with a bunch of stuff that you can, uh, a bunch of people that you can play with, all kinds of sessions going on, so on, so, so on and so forth. Makes life a lot easier for matchmaking. Okay? And then, of course, you've got our cheats. So Advanced Warfare, Ghost, BO2, MW3. All right? To disable A, enable A, very easy. We'll bring this back. Oh, no, I didn't want to go there, damn it. I wanted to go here. There you go. All right? And we're back at Aurora. All right, so, Michael, listen, brother, thank you so much for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it. Thank you for your patience. Like I said, I wanted to find you a good one with no scratches and no dents and no dings and no nothing. I wanted to find you something perfect, in which I did. So there you have it, man, okay? Mind you, another little thing about these things, okay, just so you know. All right, look, I'm going to explain this because I had a couple people that were like, Oh, man, I ordered this drive and I got this. Let me tell you something right now. That's two terabytes of fun right there, Okay. You can't stick that many games on a, on a 250 gig drive. I use new shells, okay? These are new. Unfortunately, they have a label on them, 250, all right? That's not a 250 gig drive, okay? Yeah, all right? So just to let you know, when you open it up and you go to pull a drive when you're setting up on your now, don't freak out. It's not a 250. It is a two terabyte, okay? Just to let you know. A lot of people have hit me up on that, and then they're like, and I tell them, go into Aurora, go to File Manager, and look at the size drive, and they're like, oh, okay, and I'm like going, yeah. Okay, so, anyway, needless to say, again, Michael, thank you for your business, man. I really do appreciate it, okay, and we're shipping it off today. You'll have it in two to three days. You'll have a tracking number, signature confirmation for this thing. You will also have to start a link to the startup setup video that you need to watch before you fire this console up, all right, and pretty much it's going to be on its way. Guys, I'm going to have a very, very busy day today. I've got a ton of consoles that I have got to build. So, I will be building consoles. Lorraine will be answering, um, you know, our Facebook uh, Messenger, our business page, and all that kind of good stuff while I am building consoles. If anybody needs anything and you message me and I don't answer you back real quick, I'm sorry about that. It's just I've got a face full of console, okay? But I will get back to you, I promise, all right? So, anyway, guys, have a good one. I'm going to holler at you later. You all take it easy. Stay right, stay tight, and all that kind of good stuff. I'll see y'all later.